I believe that they there were always here. However, the population has just grown because it hasn't been addressed and there, there, there's been no pushback on them. Animal experts now urging local residents to take precautions as they deal with growing numbers of nuisance coyotes in two parishes. These experts say it's important to try and control what seems to be growing numbers of coyotes in New Orleans and Metairie, but precautions are needed. A Lakeview man recently took video of a large group near City Park. Rob Messon has more on the sightings near the lake. In the early morning hours near City Park. Last week there was probably about eight or nine of them that I saw, and I think half of those were younger pups. Professional hunter Gino Ascani spots a pack of coyotes roaming open land calling out to get their attention. It is a large group of a species that's been spotted recently in several locations within a mile of Lake Pontchartrain on the northern ends of Orleans and Jefferson parishes. I see them either very late at night, late as in after dark. Bart Sabwa keeps his 12-year-old Chihuahua, Peanut, close as more and more coyote sightings are reported in Metairie. But he's four pounds, four pound chihuahua, so the hawks will get him too. <laughs> you got to worry about everything with him. Off of Abron, neighbors are reporting several missing cats and fear they were eaten by coyotes. I saw four, I think four nights ago. Nuisance animal expert Joe Andrade recently captured three coyotes in the Metairie area off of Abron near Transcontinental. Well, we have to euthanize them. Which is, uh, I mean, that's the only option. It's a rabies vector species, so you can't tra you can't move them. While nuisance control experts work to trap these coyotes, there are some concerns that their efforts could actually cause their numbers to grow. The females, when they do breed, actually have more pups when the numbers get thinned. The experts say there's a couple of reasons why the coyote sightings are usually in areas near the river or the lake. But I've heard that people are out feeding the cats on the actually on the rocks on the levee and I think that has a lot to do with it. They mainly stay close to like escape routes so they won't come they won't travel too too far in to a, a, a city they'll kind of keep on the outskirts where they um, live in the woods. Experts urge residents to take precautions. I wouldn't leave uh, food out for you know straight pets you know that they have um, you know cats and stuff like that homeowners will leave water and food on their porches and the coyotes know where they are. They also say it's good to keep pets indoors. Oh, he's so small, poor thing. That's something Bart Savoy says he'll continue to do as long as the coyote sightings continue. Now Jefferson Parish officials say they are putting out signs and Metairie warning neighbors of the coyote threat. They too are also urging residents not to leave food out for their pets.